There's nothing better than an overcast, rainy morning with fog covering the field where you're hoping to capture a photograph or video of some white-tailed deer. There's just something about the muted tones, the dark greens, the browns, the burnt oranges that gets me excited for photography. Now I just got back from Big Bend National Park and I saw some beautiful, sun colorful sunrises and sunsets and I thoroughly enjoyed that, but I almost feel like an imposter when I take sunrise and sunset photos because it's just not what gets me excited. Now I'm very happy and thankful for the chance to go to Big Bend and capture those moments, but it's these moments here that really get me out of bed in the morning. Now admittedly, I was driving home last night from work and saw a white-tailed deer, buck, about two years old or so, get struck and killed by a car. And it just got me thinking about how finite their lives are, all of our lives are. But it felt that obligation to come out despite the rain, despite the weather, and capture those moments where they're interacting with their natural environment. It may be somewhat of a self-centered view, but it's rewarding to capture those moments of birds, white-tailed deer, any form of wildlife in its natural environment. And I'm just grateful to have the opportunity here in the hill country of Texas where there's an abundance of white-tailed deer that aren't so skittish and might venture closer than they normally would in other parts of the country. So I do feel obligated to capture those moments. Now I've been out here for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I've yet to see any white tails. But I did see some up in the neighborhoods this morning. So I'm hoping that they get flushed out as the day continues, dab back into the, the field here where I'm located. And fingers crossed that I might capture one of those moments.
Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I, I hope that you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Now this morning I did get out of my bird blind about two and a half hours into the shoot just because I was striking out. No whitetails were in the area. I heard a bunch of songbirds surrounding me but where my photography blind was located was just in a precarious location to try to get any worthy footage of those songbirds. So I packed up everything, got out, just started walking around and listened to all of the songbirds in the area and luckily stumbled ac across a location that uh, was fruitful for some of the footage that you saw. So I hope that you enjoyed it. If you've liked this video, you might hit the like button. And if you would like to follow along on my journey doing landscape and wildlife photography, you may consider subscribing. It's a great way to help grow this channel and get it in front of more like-minded individuals like us. But for now, thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon.